you might be saying to yourself, Sega Slayer 64, what the heck is this video? And I'll tell you, this video is the result of a man not having an idea for content for that day. So without further ado, roll the intro. <laughs> Hey Slayers, I'm the one and only world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and welcome to a random video that you had no idea that I was going to make. Um, so, what is today's video? Um, I decided, because I didn't have a better idea, and because I'm also using my PC for some other things, so I can't really, like, record games right now for today, I figured, why not do something fairly fairly fun and interesting that we've never done before and what is that you might ask well i thought why not browse some weird chinese site well aliexpress is not a weird chinese uh, site but it is a chinese site but look the point is Ali aliexpress or alibaba whatever one you want to call it um is essentially a site based in china where a bunch of chinese warehouses sell stuff for really cheap compared to what you would get it on like ebay or something like that and so i thought hmm let's just Look up Sega, look at a bunch of crap. We're not going to buy any of it, of course, unless I see something very interesting that I might actually want to buy. But we're just going to look up a bunch of crap, look at it, go down the list until I feel like we've seen enough, and just laugh at some of the stuff. Typos or claims like this and just stuff. I want to know. We're going to look, okay? We're just we're going to look at some of this crap. You know what I'm saying? I figured it'd be pretty fun. What the heck? Is that a fake? Oh, my God. You see all this garbage? We're going to go through, and we're just going to look at some of it. You know what I'm saying? And look, there's pages of this stuff. There's pages of this stuff. So, you know, if you guys enjoy a video like this, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you're new here, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into this. And I've been looking at this one this entire time. Not this one, but this one. I've been looking at this one this entire time. So, I, I got to know what this is. I have to know. So, apparently, this is the 2022 new 16-bit wireless Sega game console for Sega Mega Drive 2. Built in 1913 NES games for Sega Joystick Video Game Console. Yep. And you can see some of the screenshots here. Uh, SG on there, um, two, two, four <laughs> wireless controllers, those things just use, uh, I guarantee you they use TV remote receivers, um, yeah, HDMI, HDMI compatible output, 3D games, but wait a second, what is that? Yes, keyword, NES games for Sega Joystick, that is 100% correct, this is an NES on a chip. Now, from the telling of what I can see... Oh, there's a video. Let's watch it. That is a real Sega Genesis Model 2. That, that's, not, that's not their crappy console. That's a, that's a real Sega Genesis Model 2. What, what, what the heck? That, that's a real Model 2. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck? What the heck? What is this? That, that's a real Model 2. Oh, wait. No. Hold on. No, yes, that that was a real. That's a real model too. I know I'm not crazy. What the heck, man? Why why are you guys lying? So I want to give this thing the benefit of the doubt, right? Because they say it's an it's an NES on the chip. We all know that it's just full loaded. Leave me alone. It's just loaded with a bunch of any crappy NES games. There's probably a ton of repeats on here. I guarantee you, there's not almost two thousand games on this thing. It's a ton of repeats. But from what I can tell. From what I can tell, you get, let's see, you get game sticker, game controllers too, memory card, power cable, HD cable, card reader. Why would you, card reader? Oh, okay, maybe that's not that bad. Apparently, it comes with a micro SD card slot, so you can load it up with your own ROMs. Uh, I don't know how this plays, and I, that looks like a cartridge slot on the top, and if that is... If that is a real cartridge slot and it does play Genesis games, yeah, look. Download ROM of NES game. Put ROM into TF card. Found in game list. Play it. Okay, no, this is just an NES player. This is not a Sega Genesis player at all. This is an NES player, 100%. Oh, wait, color. What's the color? 
wired controllers. Oh, okay, you can get wire or wireless controllers. Uh, if you were gonna, oh wait, hold on. Okay, okay, now this clarifies it. This, okay, I like this. Yes, I'm not mad at this because this is a, this is a Sega Genesis slash NES on the chip, and I was gonna criticize this, saying why would you put NES games on this when it's easy? It's just as easy to put Sega Genesis games on these things and they always put nes but it's so easy to put genesis as well it's usually either in nes or genesis they put 913 sega genesis games and 1000 nes games now i highly doubt they put 900 uh, 913 original uh genesis games they probably put repeats there's repeats i guarantee you there's repeats for both of these but i mean let's just ask don't go for the wireless go for the wired i mean the thing's probably cheap it's 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 under it's 32 dollars right it's probably... Oh, wait a second. Oh, no. It's the same based on which... Okay. So, both... Okay. So, why are the wired... Why, oh, the wireless one is more. The wired one is cheaper. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. But let me ask you this question, right? Let me ask you this question. If, if this sucker is built well, and the games are not crappily thrown on there with terrible audio and sound... And you really get 913 games and 1,000 NES games. Again, we know there's repeats on there. But if you get at least 50 NES games, maybe more, maybe at least 100 Genesis games, you know, and if it actually has a cartridge slot and wired controllers, you know, you could probably use, these probably still use 9-pin controllers. So you could probably just use a real Sega Genesis controller. If this sucker was not terrible, again, I don't know about it. But it's highly rated, but this is AliExpress. It's probably fake. If it is actually highly rated, if it's actually built well, and the games don't run terrible, and the sound quality isn't awful, I'd say go for it. I mean, nine, I thought, you know, some NES games, you probably got at least, there's probably at least 100 to 200 NES games. There's probably at least uh, 50 to 100, 150 Genesis games. That's the good deal. You know, all three Sonics are most likely on there. You know, your Mar Mar all three Marios are on there. You know, you know, you know how it goes. If this is the case, I can't be mad at this. I can't. I, I want to, but I can't. I don't know. Again, I, I don't know about this. I, I don't know. I'm not buying it. So don't tell me because to buy it because I'm not buying it. And I'm not waiting to February 14th to get it because that's how long it will take. Because things on AliExpress take freaking years. Um, Like I said, depending on what is the quality, it, not maybe not a bad deal. I'd say I'd say go for it. Let's move on here. Let's move on here. Uh, so I want to stick to purely Sega stuff. Like these are just like this is one. Like these consoles are just consoles with a bunch of different games built in. Three systems in one. Nah. Okay. So this is a multi cart right here. This is a multi cart as we can tell. Uh, I like the uh, box art. Uh, I don't see any Sonic on it, but we'll see. And this is just uh the newest ED MD <laughs> MDS V3 Pro updated. 1,000 or 1,201 game cartridges for Sega Genesis Mega Drive Mega Drive console card. Um, so question about this. This is this claims to be a multi cartridge for the Sega Genesis. Uh, you can see it comes in a variety of different colors. Oh, Mega Drive or Genesis Genesis Mega Drive. Uh, you see it comes in a variety of different colors, from red to blue to this and that. Oh, and the European box art is different. They got a. Uh, that's, uh, what is that game made by Treasure? I forgot what it's called. Uh, I don't see, oh, I see Mortal Kombat. I see Rise Star. Ooh, they got some nice games on this. Um, let's see, where's the description? Oh, did we already read it? I guess that is the extent of the description. Oh, no, here it is, right here. Description, many hot games in one cartridge to USA, Japan, slash European Mega Drive Genesis console. This is classical 16-bit game card. Works perfectly. Suitable for player's collection. We use US slash EU shell fit for the US, EU, Japan console slot. With clear black shell and clear red shell for choosing... With Mega Drive label and Genesis label for choosing, don't support OS update. Fast game loading supports over 99% of Mega Drive and Genesis games. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you right now what they're saying. When they say uh, when they say supports 99% of Mega Drive and Genesis games, right? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. This cartridge does not support uh, virtual racing. Virtual racing is almost always or other uh, weird cartridges like uh, you know it works with probably Sonic and Knuckles, but you know we're virtual racing pretty much. I'm telling you right now. Whenever these cartridges or these things like this say 
oh, they don't support, they support 99% of cartridges, they usually mean pretty much we just don't support virtual racing, aka you cannot put virtual racing on this thing because of the SVP power. Oh, wait! Supports SMS and Game Gear games with SMS pause button. Okay, I believe that, and I can tell you exactly why I believe that. Because the S the Genesis had an SNES power base converter, so supports hardware and mega P play games or, or reason support games with fifty five megabit capacity. It's a mega drive Genesis to pull it automatic back of a game archives to micro SD when you choose a new game. Okay, so you can put an uh you can put an SD on here. Thirty two X games. I don't believe it. This thing would have to have extra power inside of it. The Genesis cannot run 32X games by itself. That's the whole point of the 32X. So if this sucker has extra hardware in it, then it can probably support most of these. SD card th up to 32 megs. That That's decent. I'm at 32 gigs, not 32 megs. Oh, package installs. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. We get to see the back of it. That's a Canadian leap. Oh, there's the SD card slot. Uh, judging by looking at it, I can't see any extra hardware inside of it. Oh, look, there's a little but. Oh, there's the reset button on top of the cartridge for... Oh, that is decent. I think that might be the save state button. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't... I can't back up the claims of, uh... I cannot... I'm not... You know, I cannot back up the claims at all of, uh... Uh, you know, things like, um... 32x and uh this and that working and i'm certain it probably doesn't in virtual racing but i can confirm that i'm certain genesis master system and maybe game gear work but definitely genesis and master system for 31 dollars plus the coupons they always give you probably 20 something dollars for 20 something dollars you know uh Assuming everything, assuming this cartridge doesn't lag or anything like that, it doesn't, you know, slow down game time by any percent with a bunch of built-in games, obviously not thousands of built-in games, but probably, you know, a good re majority of repeats, but for the ability to put your own games on here as well, as well, if you compare this to the price of an EverDrive cartridge, which is insanely expensive, this is another one. I'd have to say go for it. I mean... You wouldn't get it to January 4th. Oh, January 4th. That is not bad. That's not bad. You know, it's already December 7th, so, you know, that's a month. That's not bad. You know, maybe the late Christmas present. You know what I'm saying? For your second. I, I, I'm going to say, not bad. Not bad. I would get it. I'm not going to get it. But I would. It's not a bad deal. In fact, I might even come back to this later on because, you know, like I said, assuming this does not lag or you don't get any crappy, choppy gameplay and things like that and, you know, input lag and things like that, assuming it's a good deal, I mean, it's worth it. So far, I can't find anything to hate yet. I mean, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting to the trash, boys. We're getting to the trash. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a stick. It's a stick. It's going to suck. Look at the controller. Oh, yeah. This is going to suck. So, let's see. Video game stick 4K. 4K. Like you're getting 4K with this thing. 16-bit wireless Mega Drive console for Sega, NES, FC, Famicom, I'm guessing. Genesis, Mega, wait, Mega Game? What's Mega Game Stick? Oh, Mega Game Stick Retro Master System Dendy TV SMS Game. Um, yeah, Dendy is a Russian console. I don't know why they said Dendy. Oh, I guess they said Dendy for people in Russia to buy this as well. TV, Sega Master System game. Oh, yeah, it's Russian. And it, con yeah, it, it's, it's a Russian console. So you can see it's designed for people in Russia. The language is in Russian. Um, so this is for people in Russia to play, uh, Sega Genesis and Dendy games. Because, you know, both of those were very popular in Russia. Um... It's just a short little game stick. Uh, I don't think it has an SD card slot, HDMI extension cable. So you get two controllers, wireless controllers, uh, to uh, South Korea, from China to United States. Okay, January 4th, not a bad deal. Uh, oh wait, no, download FC or uh, download FC Famicom or Sega games to ROM. Put the SD card, play it. Okay, again. 
I uh, assume I'm, I'm a certain this plays terribly and it has the crappy uh, wireless controllers that's using, you know, uh, I don't I cannot remember it right now. I know what it's called. Uh, LED. No, not LED. It's, you know, infrared, infrared, infrared technology. I couldn't remember it. You know, remote TV, remote stuff. So it's using that uh, twenty three dollars for a game stick and two controllers. The wireless controllers are probably terrible. I'm not going to lie to you because, you know, it's using infrared and you most likely want to put this behind your TV. And guess what? You can't do that. If infrared is in, if these things use infrared and it needs to point directly at the console, so these controls probably suck because I guarantee you they're not Bluetooth. Uh, uh, let's go down and read the description. Oh my god, that's a lot. This is Russian. This is definitely for Russian. Oh, play, oh, and it has the two player switch. Oh, these are some nice pictures. We're gonna, oh, it comes with a cap HDMI. Yeah, yeah. I built in emulation for Sega Genesis or NES. I can't hate though. I can't. I mean, if you're in Russia or somewhere like that, you, you really don't have too many options for gaming nowadays, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Sega Genesis games are fun. NES games are decent as well. Uh, I knew it was only going to support Genesis and NES. I don't know why they make claims of Master System and all that bull crap. This is not 4K. I'm letting you know right now these things are going to look terrible, so don't even buy into it. So, uh, let's just read. 512 megabytes. It's all 8-bit classic games inside. The default game is... 21 29 depending on the selection additional games in the local national language are available note the choice currently available in russian portuguese spanish korean four gigabyte there are 1316 bit games the allies md games 16 bit classic and mega drive games and 780 8 bit classic games the default game is 2100 or 2100 depending on the selection available games in the local national language are available according to your needs currently available in russian portuguese spanish and korean how long will it take to ship shipping within 24 hours except holidays what emulator is this game console it is mainly suitable for these emulators sega genesis slash mega drive dendy slash nes or Famicom, whatever one you want to call it. Dendi for Russian people, NES for, you know, everyone else, and then Famicom for Japanese. Uh, can I add games myself? Yes, you will provide you with a website for you to download. Essentially, illegal ROMs do not go there. Can I save and load in games? Yes. Uh, press select and start at the same time. Oh, it has save states. What if the signal connection is unstable? Please, re please replace with a new AAA AAA battery and avoid the interference of high power electronical appliances nearby. Yup, infrared. They're going to suck. If you have any other questions, please contact the customer service in time. We will reply to you. Uh, yeah, as you can see, just a bunch of different stuff. Uh, so essentially, uh, to put it lightly, oh, yeah, look, 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 you can see the infrared light under there. Wireless control, you can see the infrared light. They're not Bluetooth. You're not getting Bluetooth. Projectors that support HDMI input. Monitors, essentially what you can play it on. Is that Marvel vs. Capcom? I don't know which fighting game that was, but I thought that was Marvel vs. Capcom for a sec. Uh, yeah, I, I imagine this is probably what it does look like. HD output lies. So, okay, yeah. So, one AAA, yeah, this is using, for sure, infrared technology. You can see it up there. You can see it. To game stick, uh, HDMI extension cable, TF card, so they always provide you with a crappy uh, Chinese, uh, you know, micro, uh, micro SD card. Now, funny enough, I just brought a decent micro SD card uh, yesterday, last week, and I just got it yesterday, and I've been filling it with stuff, stuff. Uh, it's actually 128, and it is uh, on Amazon uh, for $11 at the moment, so decent deal, decent deal for 128 gigabyte micro SD card. First ever time having one. I usually buy like 64 or 32. But uh, yeah, in terms of this thing, is it worth it? No. Uh, no, I guarantee you it's not. Because first off, it's a crappy little game stick. I guarantee you it plays terrible, right? Guarantee you it plays terrible. There is no way to plug in wired controllers, so you're stuck with those crappy infrared controllers. Uh, it comes with NES and Genesis games. and uh, Yeah, I mean, again, I think there's better options to play those out there. Um... This little game stick compared to the last console we saw, like I said, the last one, if it's built decently, this one, I know it's not built de decently, it's a game stick, it's going to suck, the controllers are stuck wireless and they have infrared technology, it's terrible, it's terrible, do not buy, do not get, 10 out of 10, you suck, not 10 out of 10, uh, what's this one, uh, no, we're not going to throw one, that's just a repeat of that one up there, and for a lot cheaper price, uh, no, what is this, that, that's a tape. Oh, okay. This is not a Sega game, but I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. 
Uh, I don't hate this. This is a, oh, it's like a tape recorder hard drive, huh? It's a fake hard drive. PS, oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. This right here, again, this is all for educational purposes. I should, uh, I should say that. This is a game hard drive that you plug into your PC. In other words, it's just a hard drive filled with a bunch of ROMs from a bunch of different consoles. And the idea is that you plug it into your PC and uh, instead of you having to go on your, um, and it's filled with a ton of ROMs, I guarantee you. This number is probably true. Uh, and you can see it's filled with PS3, PS2, PSP, Sega, Sega Saturn, uh, probably Dreamcast, Wii, Wii U, Probably a bunch of other stuff, Game Boy Advance, all that. There, there are arcade. There's tons of games on here, and this is something that you're supposed to use with RetroArch. Essentially, you buy it. It's ton. It's filled with a ton of ROMs, and uh, yeah, do not condone buying this. But yeah, it's filled with a ton of ROMs. Oh, it probably comes. Oh, so you get this. You got three different uh, options. You can go for one with controller, with two crappy fake PS2 slash PS3 controllers, a bag, a user manual, and uh, the HDMI cable. And yeah, so you plug this into your computer, your laptop, or maybe another console you might have, Raspberry Pi. Maybe you might have a handheld console similar to like the Pal Kitty. And you plug it in, and it's full with two terabytes worth of games, apparently. Probably not two terabytes worth. Oh, actually, no, wait, maybe. Wait, $102. Oh, that's a two terabyte model, 500 gigs. Maybe this is real. Problem, problem. Uh, so these are. This is something real, and it's called a Super Console X. Yeah, it, it's real. I'll tell you right now. But I'll tell you what the con is. You might be thinking, thinking to yourself, Sega Slate, this is a great deal. I can go and buy this. Blah, 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 blah. And which you're not in the wrong for buying it. Obviously, you are allowed to buy things like this because it's not my fault. Someone decided to put things on here. I'm just a buyer. You know what I'm saying? Someone decided. Someone else loaded these with ROMs, not me. I just brought it off of AliExpress. I thought it was a hard drive. It says hard drive right there. But the point I'm trying to make here, which I'm not buying this, but the point I'm trying to make here is. Is this really filled with 11 million games or whatever they're advertising? Uh, no, what's that? 100,000? Something like that. Uh, is this really filled with a ton, ton, ton of games? No, it is not. I'm letting you know right now. It's probably filled with a lot less than that. And are there really all these systems on here? Yes, most likely, and more. I guarantee you there's even more than what they're advertising here. That's just all they're able to fit. Now, the problem comes in that they when they're doing this right they're getting really crappy roms and really terrible games so yes while there might be a ton of games on here you're going to end up with a lot of games that are in different languages or have inferior versions or all around crappy uh very rom dumps or you know glitches and things like that so is it worth it it depends yes and no because again a lot of games are going to be either in the wrong language or something like that, but a lot of them are going to be in the normal language, and uh, some of them, you're going to get a lot of crappy ROMs, you're going to get a lot of decent ROMs and hidden gems in there, you know what I'm saying? You might get some ROM hacks and things like that. Are these things worth it? Yes, if you want to save time. No, if you don't want. Yes and no. It depends on what your situation are. is. Are you looking for an easy way to get a ton of ROMs at one time and, uh, you know, without having to go through legal step in a perfectly legal way for yourself and just save yourself time? then yes, this thing is worth it. Uh, you know, there, like I said, there's a few hiccups in there, but there's nothing you can't change and play around with. Um, do you really, uh, the cons come in when, uh, these things can't always be trusted. Sometimes they're loaded with viruses. Sometimes they aren't. Sometimes they're loaded with all the games they say. Uh, is it worth it if you're looking for, if you want, uh, if you really don't, uh, in terms of money wise, is it worth it? Uh, you know, yeah, uh, like I just said, uh, this is a 500 gigabyte thing. I just brought a 128 gigabyte SD card. You know, it, it, the question is, is it worth it? It just depends on what your situation is. If you're, uh, if you're, if you already got a computer, then like, if you just want to save time and have something that's just loaded with a bunch of different, you know, things and you just want to be able to play them at a moment's notice, I'd say it's worth it. If you're perfectly, if you know what you're doing and you want to hurry up and go to and get your games as you want to get them, I'd say it's not worth it and skip it. Like I said, it's loaded with a bunch of games. I, I guarantee you it is. Uh, yeah, it, is it worth it? It's up to you. Oh, wait, does it have, yeah, see, there's PSP. I guarantee you these games probably run terrible. Oh, yeah. So, again, is it worth it? It's just depending on your situation. Would I get it? No, because I don't need it, and I'm perfectly capable of doing things myself. Oh, ooh, what, what, what is this? What is this? 
like I said, that last one just depends on your situation. What is this? 16-bit game console. Sega Mega Drive, one Genesis, high-definition, HDMI cap with, uh, with two gigabyte wireless controller cartridge. Oh, God. Oh, there's a USB slot. Oh, that's the back of the system. What's on the front? Oh, there are nine-pin ports. Is this what I think this is? Fake controller, uh, wireless controllers. Okay, so this is most likely loaded with some fake Genesis games as well. Let me see. Features, product, RGB, operating system, video game elite, uh, platform, one host, two wireless controller, one wired controller. So I apologize for the background noise. Uh, HD cable, AV cable, packing box. Um, so uh, yeah, this is a Sega Genesis console, and it is most like it's a replica console. It can play Genesis games. Uh, Let's see, yeah, it's, as I suspected, it's loaded with a bunch of fake games, uh, a bo not fake games, not fake games, a bunch of, it's loaded with a bunch of Sega Genesis games, but what is actually the bonus of this is that it can apparently play real consoles and real cartridges and use a real controller and comes with a built-in HDMI slot. Right off the bat, throw the wireless controllers in the trash, but... If this thing actually plays with a steady speed, and like I said, this is another one. If this actually plays, and January 4th is the ship, and that's, again, not bad. If this thing plays with a decent, and wait a second, it said HDMI. We looked on the back, and I saw AV cables. What the heck? Oh, no, there's an HDMI port and HD cables. Well, wow. Oh, yep, there are NES games on here as well. You can, is there an SD card slot? Is there, if there's an SD card slot, I'd say... I don't see one. I just see HDMI AV. Okay, so the point we're getting here is that this thing is clearly just a Genesis, a both a doubles as a Genesis replicator and a ROM system. Uh, it's probably loaded with both NES and Genesis games, to be honest with you. The question I have to ask myself is, if this thing is built well and it doesn't run games slow and runs cartridges well, I'd say go with it. I'd say go for it. If it's not, I don't I, I don't know the build quality, but if it's not built terrible, which it probably is, but, you know, like I said, you could use a real Genesis controller. If games run well enough on here, if they run well enough on here, you know, it comes with the built-in games, but as, as long as the thing runs and it's not, like, terrible and you're getting terrible choppy audio and decent quality frame rates and, like, it's not running and terrible or something like that i'd say go for it that's that's my opinion i don't know if it's good i can't tell you but for the fact that you can not only play real cartridges but use real controllers on the sucker with hdmi or freaking um av with the power cord i'd say go for it it looks like a real genesis it's not you could probably trick your friends into thinking it is nice collectible i'd say i'd say again this is just me going off of how I'm looking at it. I don't have this product. I don't know if it plays terribly, but I'd say go for it in that case, in the scenario, because it, it seems like a good enough deal. We've been recording for 27 minutes. Okay, already. Let's look at one more. One more, and then we'll uh, we'll get on going. I didn't give it for a second. Oh, that's another USB. Uh, what? What is this? Uh, just three Ultimate Mortal Kombat? <sighs> I want something a little bit more outrageous. Is this, oh wait, here we go, acceleration card, all in one, let's see what this is, this is a Genesis cartridge, what, hold on, is this what I think this is, this is like a, all in one acceleration card for Sega Saturn, SD card, oh this is a Sega Saturn card, what, that is sick, that's sick. Okay, okay. This is the only one acceleration card for the Sega Genesis, a uh, Sega Master System. If you're confused that with um, Saturn, what this is is you know the Sega Saturn uses cartridges, and the cartridges that came with it were similar to the N64 and PlayStation One, where there were like expansion packs and things like that. Well, this card right here is an all-in-one cartridge for your Sega Master for your Sega Saturn that comes bundled with Action Replay, uh, the RAM carts. The eight, both the uh, the one megabyte and the four megabyte RAM cartridges, the eight megabyte RAM cartridges, the CD uh, uh comes with other the Saturn Kai and things like that, so different uh hackable softwares and uh you know the CD versions of the uh, RAM cartridges and things like that, uh and it comes all in one cartridge for thirty five dollars. Let's just look. 
uh, menu all in one acceleration card for the second Saturn. I'm telling you right now, I think this is worth it. Card one megabyte to four megabyte acceleration card, uh, also nine megabyte. For most of the S and uh, for all the S and K games, such as the King of Fighters, Samurai Showdown, Rail Bout, and all these things, you know, four megabyte for Capcom games, such as for Street Fighter. Yeah, the one the S and K games tend to use the one megabyte. The uh, the uh, the Capcom used uh, four megabytes. They use, you know, Street Fighter Zero, Three, Vampire Survivor, The Lord of Vampire, and more. You must select correct selection for megabyte. Okay, as an example, uh, the pseudo Saturn Kai Direct Reading Card can read burn disk or other pirated disk. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Again, remember modded software. CD, CD version, a game version, unlimited game versions. Cartridge suitable for all regions. Japanese. So essentially, what the CD versions mean is that you can uh, use whatever region you want. Essentially, works on all Saturns. Instructions by selected. This right here, I'll tell you. This right here is by far worth every single penny. It's worth every penny. I'm not going to lie to you right now. 10 out of 10 automatically recommend. If you have a Sega Saturn, you're going to want something like this nowadays. Because, you know, if you want to use the Action Replay, you can't use the RAM Expander. If you want to use the RAM Expander, you can't use the Action Replay. If you want to, you know, play Burnt Disc, you have to do those crappy uh, discs. If you want to back up your games to your own Burnt Disc, and you want to, uh, you know, play, or you want to play ROM Hacks of games you already own, and you, uh, you know, you want to play those Burnt Disc on there, you can. Uh, it's cool. 10 out of 10 automatically recommend because it allows you to play your backups your own backups on here and your translations and things like that because there's a lot of japanese Sega saturn games that you want to play translations of and you burn it to a disc and you want to play it on your real saturn well you can uh the ram cartridges the uh, action replay so you don't have to continuously swap cards worth every cartridge is worth every single penny i might get one of these myself in the future I think that's going to do it for this video. Again, 10 out of 10, recommend that card. Uh, you know, if you're new here, if you could subscribe, that'd be really awesome. We'll try to reach 400 subscribers. You'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends to become a super slayer. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do this again in the future because I thought this was really fun and I'd like to look at more stuff. Uh, if you make sure to have, wait, uh, if you can make sure to share this with your friends to become a super slayer. I've been the one and only world's cool second enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64. And until next time, make sure to have a great day, great night, or great anytime. Have a good one, Slayers.